Can you believe that we are back? Hey again, everyone. Welcome back to Arcade Spirits. I'm your host, the Prince of Play, Solon, and it's uh, been a little while. It's been a couple of weeks, actually, since Race Car Drift got to roll out of the garage once again. And it's been that long for a couple of reasons. One, I'm very busy, but the much bigger reason is... Have you looked at our decision that we've got to make? It's a very big decision, and I'm not a... Not good at commitment, especially around as many great choices as we have right here. Um, today is kind of a make it or break it day, isn't it? We're gonna really find out where we go. Uh, and I've been getting such just amazing comments the entire last couple of weeks about uh, <laughs> just how the first eight episodes have gone, and I'm, I'm really stoked about all of it. Uh, like, the people that we've got to meet over the last, well, it's been what, for race car drift about two weeks or so? Two hapless weeks? The poor kid uh, is much better on four wheels than he is his own two legs. And so I'm trying to think of not only what do I want, but like what what's good for race car drift? What does race car drift need in his life? Does Does he need an older gentleman who will help guide him through life? Uh, someone who uh, seems just so wise and also full of secrets, and I want to find his secrets. Do we want to follow on uh, a path of dominance? Do we want to be awesome? Do we want to be rock stars? Do we want to be the best we can be? Um, do we just want to dance? Because, God, I really just want to dance. Uh, and also, Ashley is here, not on mascot duty, in her uh, terror outfit. And... I would love to just, it actually seems like the easiest choice because it just seems so nice and soft and like very race car drift speed. And uh, his speed is kind of in neutral as it is right here. Um, so like the higher up on the list we go, the more challenge we give our, uh, our little RC car. The lower down on the list, the easier it gets. And uh, that's just my interpretation of everything. And I've just been staring at this. I've been staring at this for probably 30 minutes now, just even today. And that was just today. Um, like, where are we going? What are we doing? And I've, uh, you can put your votes in. I think now is probably the best time of the vote. Like, uh, text the number on the top of the screen to find out uh, if you are the American Idol. But I think we've got an executive decision, and this is just, this is not only what's right for race car drift, but also what's right for me. And I just want to dance. I just want to dance! So, it's time to shake it. It's time to shake it. Uh, Teo on that list is also the only one who's just, who's actually in the middle of doing stuff, and we're just going to interrupt him. As he finishes the last beat of the song, I see Teo spin and jump off the Showtime stage platform. He doesn't even look back to see that he absolutely nailed it. You know, like the badass he is. It looks like most of the crew isn't around today. So, uh, I wonder if they all just went out to lunch together and didn't invite me again. Floor attendant race car needs food badly. Maybe Teo would be interested in lunch with me. It's not every day I catch him sans crew. That means, uh... Undertale crew, in case you don't know Latin. Uh, before I could even say anything, he's locked eyes with me and is jogging over my way! Like, it's so easy. This game's gotten so easy for me. Race car. I guess. Or tenant race car's about to die! You doing alright? You sound hungry. Are you going to make it? No! I may be doomed. Can't have you dying on me. Not like this. Let's get some food into you. I, I'm taking you to whole story. The bookstore next door? Do they have food? Only the best pastries and coffee this side of Mississippi. I can't believe you haven't gone yet. Sounds tasty. I should eat the pizza bagels I brought for lunch. Come on, man. Oh, you eat those every day. Let me treat you to something other than pizza bagels. Think of it like a date. This is so easy! <laughs> he knows exactly what to say to make my face turn bright red. Fine, you win. Let's go. Just think of it like a date. Despite coming to this little strip mall for two weeks, I hadn't visited any of our neighbors. Like, how's Pangy doing? 
I just did whatever needed doing, you know, took orders from Gavin, lent a hand to Ashley and Naomi, things like that, whatever the job happened to call for, no more or less. And, uh, I guess everyone else visits the whole story pretty frequently. I mean, I guess it's right over there, isn't it? Teo leads the way into a shop that smells strangely of dusty old books and sugary sweetness. I didn't think I'd ever been in a little indie bookstore. Or a bookstore at all, for that matter. It's 20 XDX! Who buys books in brick and mortar stores anymore? Where's the tablet that just has all of these books on it? Uh, despite the subdued atmosphere compared to the arcade, there are customers present and accounted for. Sipping coffee, reading old tomes, and munching donuts. Teo secures a tiny table for us before directing me to the bar. What the heck is this menu? It's organized by the Dewey Decimal System! Feel whimsical today. I'll have the magraining. Pink icing, colorful sprinkles, and ring it up on my tab. That would be a Simpsons donut. Unless it was like a bear claw that was just like soup. I don't know. What what would be like the super leftist political pseudo-anarchy like old school Matt Groening donut? It would be it would be an apple fritter. I don't think it'd be a bear claw, it'd be an apple fritter. But it would be like full of red goo or something. That would be the Matt Groening. Original. I'm almost out of thanks, trying not to make a big deal of it. Cash is tight, boutique ca cafe pastries wouldn't help my situation much. Uh, hello! A pair of middle-aged guys wait to take my order. Hey, I'd like a... Oh, wait. Are we ordering for us or are we ordering for Teo? Super sweet glazed chocolate sprinkle special surprise with orange juice! You know what surprised me? What's your favorite donut? Okay, this is just for us. Just glazed coffee. Keep it simple. Let's get wild. Uh, let's have some dang fun. I'll have the Shell Silverstein. Chocolate sprinkles juice coming up. The second fellow puts together my order and also drops a small book of extremely silly poetry on the tray with it. A little literary, liter a literally literary lunch. With alliteration, apparently. Say, you work at the Funplex, don't you? Right, we've seen you walk past our doors every morning and every evening. Like clockwork, it's tick-tock! Right, sorry, I should have introduced myself. Uh, floor attendant, race car drift at your service. I'm your inside guy for tokens and tickets. Oh, we're lousy at video games. Totally lousy! But Francine's just a peach, isn't she? Sweet as day, you'll ever meet! Regardless, welcome to the whole story. Hey, hello! Hello! Hi, Ben. Hi, Matt. No relation to the actors. Although they're cuties and so are we. Oh, stop. Stop being cute never. Apparently the sugar is available in forms other than round and holy. <laughs> anyway, don't let us stop you from having fun on your little date. Wouldn't dream of it. It's not a, it's not a date. Well, isn't that something? Just friends then. Friendly friends on a play date. Ooh, what if, what if... Maybe the real date was the friends we made along the way! I'd say the real friends were the friends we made along the way. What if the way was also the real friends who were the real friends we made along the way? Okay, now you're just being silly. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's definitely a song from the 90s called The Way that answers that question precisely. Anyway, next order, please. The pair waves the next customer in as I return to Teo's table with our orders on a nicely decorated wooden tray. Nice choice there. That's my second favorite. Gotta admit, it looks it looks delicious. Bet it's not as delicious. God, Teo, you're not this forward with everyone, right? Once again, I'm just gonna be beat red in the middle of the cafe. I can see Matt and Ben pointing and whispering to themselves about this. Hi! Uh, so, no regulars from your crew here today. Today is our monthly break day. I mean, folks come and go as schedules permit. Can't expect them to dance eight hours a day, seven days a week, but this is different. I make sure that every month we all take a full day break from each other to clear our heads. Not dance and just recharge. No arcade, no game, no warrior wear smooth moves. Just a moment to reflect and enjoy the good things in life. 
Oh, well, that's actually a great idea, and also, shouldn't it be more than once a month? Perhaps, like, two days every week or so. Like, a weekend. I... I'm sorry, I know. Uh, to, <laughs> this is me saying it to myself, as much as anything else. Hey, Solon, take a wig! Get... Whatever. Uh, let's do something new. Let's do something new. Let's, let's shake it up a little bit. Keeps attendance up Paul, for all the other events. Less chance of a burnout that way. But you still showed up today to dance. See, I think this is what I was getting at with Teo. He works as hard, if not harder, than I do. <sighs> when is your break, Teo? <laughs> Simply put, I don't require a break. Seriously? That's an early way to the grave. Uh, what makes you say that? I'm not gonna condemn him right away. Well, actually... I totally should. Should I just mom this boy? I feel like I should probably mom this boy who's been too fresh with me all this time. Let's get, let's, let's be very passionate, right? <sighs> the road to hell is paved with great intentions, Teo. Every, inc everyone including you deserves a break every once in a while. Believe me, I would love to take a break. Teo, what's driving you? But I can't, truly. Oh, break day doesn't apply to me. I need to work hard. You know, I've built up this community from when it was nothing. I, I remember, I remember when it was just me and a few other players. Oh, yeah. And now look at it, race car. We're not just a local crew. We're one of the biggest dancing game groups in the nation. We've got it all. Social media feeds, satellite groups, online vids to tutor the hopeful newcomers. You're only seeing the tip of this crazy iceberg. You're just seeing practice day. All of that depends on me. I gotta hustle. I can't let them down and I won't let them down. If this all fell apart, it would crush them. So if I stop, even for just a moment, I mean, who will be there to take over? Uh, your friends, Teo. Me, uh, Ashley, Naomi, even Gavin. Huh, you take over my dance crew? Uh, I don't know if race car drift totally gets- I don't know if he's totally connected the dots here. Uh, I don't think we would literally take over the dance crew. I mean, you're part of the funplex, right? You're not alone. There's... we can help you. For the first time, Teo, who always has a wisecrack or a smooth saying, is silenced. Just don't forget that. Oh, okay, wow! Good job, race car! <laughs> I know it's hard to trust others. Uh, just recently, I had to deal with some trust issues. Like, really recently. Like, this morning... I had to deal with a trust issue, and it's not fun. I get that, but you do so much for others, and it's okay to let them to do things for you too. Thank you. You know, race car, you're a true friend. Here, I was supposed to take you out and hear about your life, and instead, we just talked about me the whole time. Man, I'm the worst. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely the worst. Not as bad as I am at Showtime Spotlight. Yeah, let's not ingratiate ourselves because we're on top- Race car's on top of the world right now! We're riding high! Seeing Teo down in the dumps is heartbreaking. He's always cheering us all on. Maybe a little sarcastic quip. Yeah, worst of the worst. If there's a ranking of the best people, you'd be near the bottom alongside mall walkers, unlicensed dentists, and Dekonami. Oh, that Konami. Uh, <laughs> harsh. Now who's putting on the smooth moves? Look at us! We're, we're talking big game today! Wow! Race Car Drift woke up on the right side of the bed today! I mean it, you're, you're a really great friend. Uh, I'm really impressed with your passion just now. Not many floor attendants would do that for their customers, but... Hey, that's the funplex for you, isn't it? I'm more than a neatly stacked pile of quarters in your eyes. We, we all are. Until Gavin tells me to stop fraternizing with the neatly stacked piles of quarters, I'm good with treating you all like human beings. Race car, you inspire me. Confusedly, I glance around, looking for who Teo seems to be talking about. I've never been described as inspirational. Me? You talking about me? Yeah, you. You could use that heart you have in all aspects of your life. It'd at least make my world a bit brighter. Beep, beep. Iris, read the room! I'm clocking in late! Sorry. Sorry, Teo, you were saying. I'm just here to listen. 
looks like it's time to get back on the stage. And back to work! You sure you wouldn't rather dance with me? You still haven't tried out Showtime stage yet? Rain check, Teo! Rain check! Uh, I, you know, it's still raining out, and I've got a lot of checks that I gotta, I got bills to pay and checks to cash. Can't use that excuse forever, my friend. Check with me again next time it's raining. Is it raining right now? Just checking on the rain. That's not what a rain check is. Before we go, can I ask you something? Shoot! You're, you're a real hard worker and all, but don't you get bored? Running through the same routine day in and day out. I mean, even I switch up the playlist now and then. What do you mean? Well, I mean, are you happy with what you are doing? Is there anything you could add to your life, your job, that would make it more meaningful? Like, for me, when I first started dancing, I made a promise to myself. If I was ever in the position to build a community around Showtime stage, I'd give everything to make that dream happen. That's really ambitious and exciting. Uh, yeah, tell me more. Tell me more about your dreams, Teo. I feel like uh, I should probably start talking about my dreams too a little bit. I've got ambition oozing out of every orifice of my body. Ick. Duck. You can show me, that's fine. So, what do you strive for? What do you want to accomplish? Or is this it? Sorry, is that got a little too deep. Anyway, just something to think about. You should, we should get back before we're missed. Okay. Are you asking me what I want to do with my life because you want me to figure out what I want to do with my life? Or are you asking me what I want to do with my life because you're trying to ascribe a value to me? Are you trying to dress me up and dress me down to put me into your community somehow? That's always something that gets in my mind whenever anyone asks me like what my dreams and aspirations are, what my plan is, especially like parents. It's a very parental question. Um, and a lot of it, it's out of love, but also out of them trying to compartmentalize you into a neat space so that they can understand your value. It comes up all the time, and it's something that really frustrates me, but also excites me, because, like, it's just weird people stuff. It's That's how we relate to each other. Uh, I definitely get it, because there's things where I say, like, yeah, I, I make videos on YouTube where we play games and have a good time, and I, I try to build a good space around it. And people go, all right, I don't know how that gives me value, so I'm just going to check out. Uh, and then there's other places where I can just be like, oh, yeah, I make games with kids. And they're like, oh, you make games with, you know how to make video games. Oh, I, I understand what video games are, and I, I know that there's an intense value in this world for people who make video games. Taking notes, taking notes, taking notes. Uh, <laughs> it's like, these aren't necessarily different things, but they're ascribed very different values when talking to other people. And when you get dressed down, dressed up, I get a little defensive, but also a little like, I don't know, you know? Let's see where Teo is going to fall on this. Because I'm sure he means out of trying to, uh, hopefully not trying to fix me necessarily, that might not be too nice of a way to put it, but like, uh, you know, try, he's trying to help me out, right? He's trying to get me to help myself out. Alright, time for the afternoon shift. You know, when things heat up. There's the quiet mornings where we get to hang out, and then more kids start coming in after school, and pro gamers are rolling in with crews. I'm heading back to my desk, ready to take care of what needs taken care of, and I'm intercepted en route. Race car. Ashley, you're both back. Good! I was hoping to catch you before we left. Oh, what's up? Hamza's up. Okay. He is? Okay. Ashley, I'll bring the van around shortly. Race car, you'll be flying solo today. Hang on, what, what's happening exactly? Who's, who's Hamza? Hamza's a game finder and auctioneer and gives next to no notice when, of when a new block of games will be going under the gavel, so we need to move. Ashley, Naomi, Francine, and I will be going to his auction for the rest of the afternoon while you run the funplex. Okay. Gavin's the law around these parts. Um, but maybe I need to step up a little bit more. Maybe I should be going to this auction. Plus the idea of being trapped in here during our heaviest hours with no support was hardly appealing. Okay. I'm really interested in this, this, uh, event that's going on. So, I could ask to tag along with this, which would go against what uh, Gavin's thinking here. 
But... Hmm... Okay, no, it looks like all of these options are kind of pushed me towards that. So, it's more about tone. Cool, I thought I was gonna have to pick, like, between two different groups which side I wanted to be on and stuff. But... This makes a lot more sense, so... Let's tag along. What gives? I want in on this too! Yeah, let's be bold. Let's be bold! Uh, where are we at quickly on points? Cause I haven't gotten to see this in a little while. Still bold. And ch and loving. Caring. And now it's Teo and Queen B, neck and neck. Which is, is where I want to be. I think that we're gonna start seeing that go way up. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What if I want to come along? See this auction myself! I'm never gonna learn the business if I don't take a bigger um... role. <laughs> You're a floor attendant. Your place is on the floor. Aww. Well, that's just unfair. I'm a floor attendant too. You're dragging me along. I feel like such a third wheel at those auctions anyway. Let race car be the third wheel. I'm great at being wheels! Wheels is like most of my thing! Let me handle the floor. <laughs> I'll be the finest third wheel you've ever met, trust me! I just want to do more things than I've been doing, like, different things. They show some initiative. I suppose it wouldn't change much to bring race car instead, but no costume time today, Ashley. I need non-plush fingers on duty in case of ticket jams. Pinky can stay in storage for the afternoon. I'm just happy to be helping folks out one way or another. I need to go get the van. Wait out front, please. We'll probably be closed by the time you get back, so I'll see you in the morning! Floor attendant Ashley away! Sup? We're rolling four deep! This is a good crew! Leaving me waiting outside with my true traveling companions. There's not much time to chat, as Gavin pulls his van and a rental trailer around. Oh my, how exciting! I rarely go on adventures these days. It's just a quick trip, ma'am. Any trip is an adventure if you make it one, shall we? Four of us pile in. It's off to the highway. We're just gonna go into the middle of the streets. Like, we're just gonna turn right off the highway and boom, there it is. All of us in the mystery machine. Gavin consulting a driving map on his phone leads us out to the city via a series of weird turns and back roads. I think this is where we're gonna leave things today. Because we've had a big day. A lot has happened in a very small space. Uh, a, we met, like, a bunch of new characters, and B, we got to really in... We made a choice! We're gonna follow through, and we're gonna hang out with Teo. And I'm not gonna regret it, because we can always go back, and it's really weird, Solon, that you keep, like, spinning on this! That this is, like... God, they're just all such great characters, and my stupid by heart cannot take it. I can go back! It's a video game, Solon! Sorry, this is... I'll talk to myself about this later. Um, when we uh, come back next time on on another episode of Arcade Spirits, we are gonna go to this uh, arcade auction and see if we can get in with this cool arcade collector. There's some, I'm really excited about this. And I get to hang out with a bunch of characters that we didn't get to see in this last episode. So uh we're gonna hang out it's gonna be gavin and francine naomi and i no not naomi that's the four of us are gonna be heading out to to the middle of the desert you know where arcade games live and we're gonna have a good time so i will see you next time when we uh we really drive our character race car drift into a new direction of assertiveness so I love you so much, and we'll see you then for more Arcade Spirits and more Soul and Face.